to the grind every day yo what's up you guys it's john manalo and in this video we're going to be restoring a pair of air force ones also known as uptowns that's just another way of saying air force ones if you're from new york or they like to say new york and if you guys take a look at the shoes they look straight garbage look i don't know who's doing to these shoes but it's time to stop it's time to stop it's time to stop okay no more So now that we've removed the majority of the mud, it's time to clean the uppers with a rejuvenator. Now if you live in an Asian household, and especially if you're Filipino, you've seen this uh, tool before um, near the toilet, so that's what I'm using to clean these shoes. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, say it in the comments. To make this process faster, I'm just going to blast these shoes with a hose. So I'm going to be using Rejuvenator's laundry detergent and I'm going to be using an all-purpose brush to lather the uppers. So after fully cleaning the uppers, we can see the full extent of the damage on the upper leather. So in order to repair this leather damage to the best of our abilities, we are first going to prep the leather material to remove the factory finish, sand down the leather material, paint over the leather, and sand the shoes one more time just so we have a smooth surface and then finish it off with the last layer of paint. So what I'm holding in my hand is a pair of con balls and acetone. And what I'm doing is I'm stripping away the factory varnish that is protecting the leather paint. This step is necessary in order to make sure that our paint that we apply will stick 100% and won't rub off easily. Now I've included a little ASMR for you guys so hope you guys enjoy. So I was basically sanding down the really rough patches of the leather just so I can get it as smooth as possible and I was using a rough grit. I was using 400 grit and the next time I'm going to sand down the shoes I'll be using 2000 grit. So after sanding down the shoes I'm just going to apply my layer of paint using an airbrush and wait 10 minutes to 15 minutes between each coat and then I'll apply a brand new layer.
Alright, so after applying a couple layers of paint, I'm going to be sanding them down again. So I used a brush to remove any excess dust particles from the paint after sanding it down just to make sure that the uppers are clean again. So once everything is brushed off, I'm going to be using an airbrush again to finish the paint job off. Now I didn't want to leave it plain Jane, so I wanted to add a little bit of uh, extra kick to it. So I'm going to be adding black paint to the swoosh and ankle collar. And I'm also going to be replacing the tongue tag since it was pretty messed up with a black tongue tag. This is basically what the shoes look like after everything is done and stitched. So I stitched the tongue tag on properly and not just glued it back on. So this is actually the first time using a sewing machine. So if it's sloppy, it is. Uh, it's my first time doing it. So I'm only going to get better with time, guys. And I have these Black Air Force Ones that are laying around. And cue the Black Air Force One memes in the comments. So this is basically what it looks like all stitched in. I didn't really have the proper colored um bobbin thread so that's why it's red on the inside and white on the outside Before I actually put the shoes on the sewing machine, I wanted to practice with this strip of leather and I just want to make sure that the thread, uh, what's it called, like the thread length is the appropriate size and making sure that nothing is messed up with the stitching. It actually took me a while just to get everything up and running. I had a lot of issues with the bobbin thread showing up. That just meant I had too much tension on the primary thread. Um, it's just so many things that went wrong, but finally I got it down and working. And here you guys go. So for this part, I've already made a mistake. I was supposed to do a back stitch first and then continue to my normal stitch route and then do a second back stitch when I'm finished. So you're only gonna do that to secure what you stitched together. Unfortunately for me, I do not have a machine that has a back stitch. I should have asked more questions when purchasing a machine. So just in case if you guys do end up purchasing a sewing machine, uh, make sure to ask if it has a back stitch. I bought mine for 2,500 bucks. For something this pricey, I'd expect it to have something very basic, 
like a back stitcher but you know lesson learned next time ask more questions and you won't run into this issue again so this is pretty much the end of the video all i gotta do now is just remove any excess thread that is popping off and if you guys enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you have not already and yeah show your boy some love and leave a comment down below i did end up giving these shoes away that needed them the most to a person in the streets i'm just not the type to showcase or record myself doing a good deed to the homeless just i feel like you should just do it without you know doing it for clout or whatever but yeah these these shoes have a ha happy new home and uh yeah man hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video Hey yo, what's up you guys? It's John Manolo. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Not only will that thumb be blue, but it'll also help me reach other people that want to see these types of videos as well. And if you guys really want to see more, subscribe down below, guys. All right, man. Yeah, um, I, I, let me just answer this question once and for all. I am Filipino. I eat balut. I, I eat dinigawang. I suck the bone marrow off of the uh, 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 nilaga, the bululu, whatever. I'm kapampangan. Tani Dana, um, sus Mario Josep, alikamin Delu. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace.